Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, February 16, 2022. Honest, this is the same 1950, 18-foot Chris Craft Riviera that you saw some months back in pieces, literally in pieces, all piled into the uh, into what was left of the hull. Well, why don't I just hand it over to Joe to talk to you about what's happened to her. Yeah, so as, as before, we had zero deck. We had zero covering boards with this boat. The bull nose was gone. Uh, so without really having much to go off, we really had to refabricate everything from pictures that we had to Mike's Riviera that was down there that we were able to take measurements from. But as you know, not, you know there's not two... Chris's that are identical. So we got all started with our framing underneath our covering boards, got our new covering boards in, uh, got them all rough sanded, then we were able to get in all of our new decks. And uh, the only thing we got left is the rear half panel to get done. But it has all been routed out, all of our deck seams, it's all been, all of our decks have been fared flat thanks to this Hutchins platboard sander. Uh, really, it's a piece of machinery that anybody who's doing a boat really needs to have. Uh, because if you're doing it with a short sander, you are not gonna get any kind of sort of your decks to be flat, which these ones are perfectly flat. Right, you get with the short inline sander, you end up with hills and valleys, no matter how good you are, right? right. Yeah. So the only thing we got left, we had to put on these two front planks left. Uh, so we'll be able to finish all of our covering boards to get those all fared flat and ready to go. But we are very, very close to being able to final sand this and finally get some coats of bleach on it so we can start our sanding process. But as you can see, all of these lines are very, very close to 330 seconds. Um, what, we, what I do is I start with a smaller bit because I'd rather go smaller and be able to have the room for sanding all of these. So that way it's not just a square valley, you have a little chamfer along the sides of it so that way it won't spill out. But this is all ready to go. The transom's gotta get sanded in, but it is all bunged and ready to go. So we'll get that sanded today and get that all squared away and she'll be ready to go. And then comes bleaching and the bleaching of course will uh, add moisture to the planking and uh, close some of these top side seams um, and then we will stain her with Michael Myers gel stain Lake Oswego Boat Company out west you shouldn't use anything else uh, once she's stained she'll receive her four coats of Smith's clear penetrating epoxy sealer and again smith's is the only one to buy and use not the cheap pretenders because they're junk if you really want to know what i think i'll say it again they're junk so that's our update on our 1950 18 foot chris craft riviera thank you so much bye bye for now from snake mountain boat works